How's it going guys? I'm Andy. Uh, uh, yesterday I created a video in regards to lowering your extreme spread and standard deviation numbers. Um, I didn't explain the process that I go through for uh, kneeling my brass. I wanted to go over that with you guys today because I didn't cover that in the last video. I um, didn't really explain much on the process that I go through for kneeling the brass. Um, what I have here today is my homemade annealer. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the process that I go through for it. Um, one thing I can't show you here is the metronome counter, which is on my phone um, that I place up here on the back side of this board here um, to get my count so that when I'm annealing this brass, um, you know, everything is per as consistent as possible. So let me go ahead and show you that process real fast. So what I've got here in this uh, package here is a uh, 750 degree Tempralac. Um, now you can't really, probably can't really see the other things backwards, but anyways, um, it uh, states up here 750 degree Tempralac. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the uh, box here and I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and uh, put a little bit of temper lock on the inside of the case mouths here and this is a demo case here so um, uh, just to show you guys because I've already annealed the uh, the cases over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a little shake here, get all those little particles broken up. I'm going to open this guy up here. Put this casing down. I'll try to best, my best to show you guys this process here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your temple lock, like I said, your 750 degree temple lock, and uh, you're going to go ahead and shake that thing up. And what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, the case and you're going to put just a little bit on the uh, the inside of the case mouth, just like that. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to Go ahead and let that set and dry um, for approximately, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes or so. Um, what I usually generally do is, um, you can actually see it uh, drying as we speak. What I generally do is I will, um, you know, put the temporal lack on about uh, five to ten cases and, um, you know, just let set, you know, let those set and dry. And then uh, after that, after they dry, then I go to the annealing portion of it. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the tool here. Um, so, like I said in the video earlier, uh, you know, this is my homemade annealer. Um, and with my last video, I don't think I really explained this. But, anyways, this is a propane tank here. Um, what I did was I took this, um, uh, this clamp here and I attached it to the board. Um, you know, I kind of cut out a little slot in the back side here and attached some rubber um, uh, pieces on the back on either side to kind of cradle the uh, uh, the tank into the uh, um, onto the piece of piece of wood here um, and this is here this is a Hornaday case neck turning tool and what I did was I took the uh, the turn in portion of it off and um, just using the uh, shank the knurl and the number two um, uh, shell holder. Okay. Okay, guys, so I got her all set up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate to you guys here um, my process and my homemade annealer. I don't know if you can really see that here, but the uh, temper lock is inside the cow, uh, case of the mouth of the case and it has dried. Um, and once, uh, you know, I kneel this, uh, that tip lock is going to completely melt. And once it melts, um, essentially, uh, you know, the case has annealed to that specific, uh, degree in temperature, which is 750 degrees. And that's about what you want right there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get her all set up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, uh, case, you're going to stick it in the, uh, shell holder. Give it a little spin there. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat up. Now, prior to doing this, now like I said, I, I, I have a metronome counter on my phone. And what I do is I stick my phone up here and it's you know, 60, 60 um, beats per minute. 
and that allows me to get my uh, the count that I want. Um, now what I'm going to do is because every time uh, you set this up you've got to use some temper lack because um, you want to get it perfect every time. Every time that you go and try to put the same setting in there it's not going to kind of turn out the exact same every time because I don't have a regulator on this uh, um, uh, propane tank here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the temper lack and as soon as it gets to that uh, melting point um, just before you start you don't ever want to see a, a red flames coming off the top here because it lets you know that you've over annealed it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head, go ahead and turn this all the way up and uh, we're going to go ahead and get to the annealing portion of it, okay? I'm just going to demonstrate to you, okay? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick the case into the uh, over top of the flame. You want the flame to be center of the shoulder and the neck, right there in that datum line. So, alright, here we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and count and I'm going to look for that temple lack to melt, okay? Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, you saw that red flame there. Now that was that temper lag burning off. But I counted four uh, seconds there, and essentially I was to take this case off here. Let me turn this off here. Now this case is going to be pretty, pretty hot. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to show you what the case looks like after the uh, temper lag has melted. Okay, this case has been annealed, and uh, you can see that little annealing line right there. Um, you don't want that line to go any further than about, um, I'd say, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch from where the shoulder meets the uh, body of the case, close to that datum line right there. Um, sorry, I'm sorry, I was all out of focus there. So. You don't want that uh, annealing line to go no further than that, about a quarter of the way down the case from the datum line. Um, now that uh, 750 degree temper lock has melted and it is completely invisible. You cannot see any of that temper lock in there. Um, that's how you properly anneal a case. Um, now I don't have an annealese and I don't have a, an amp or anything like that. Uh, annealing made perfect. Um, which sucks because I really like to have something like that. Um, but uh, the budget doesn't, uh, uh, my budget does, I just can't afford it. So, anyways, um, so that's uh, that's how I kneel. And um, uh, let me know which, uh, how you guys uh, like my process, what you think. Uh, send your comments below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you will. Um, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button. All right, thanks.